Okay, welcome back. I assume at this point you've installed the plugin and restarted your computer. If you have your audio interface handy, go ahead and plug it in and start it up to uh, connect it to the computer and all of that. Uh, if you don't have it handy, then don't worry. Some of these things you might have to come back and do again later, but most of it will apply now. Also note, if you have uh, um, M audio brand interface, you might have to restart the computer after you plug everything in connect the interface and and turn it on uh, most of them should automatically be recognized without you having to do that but if you encounter any problems and this is generally true with all computer problems restart the computer so uh, let's assume now you have the interface connected if you have a Motu interface you'll probably see a window like this pop up that's great and it'll tell you the name of the interface right there as you can see I have an ultralight this window uh, is not necessary for anything else. You can ignore it. You can leave it right there. You can close it. It doesn't matter. Let's go to the folder with the Static Waters Electronics files. Open that and again you'll see all of these files here that we saw before. The red one, Ecstatic Waters 1.2c project is the most important one. Inside that is another red file and I labeled it red because that is the magic one to use in performance and rehearsal. Now, don't worry if yours says 1.2 DE, something else. This is the version that's current right now. As I make small changes, I uh, increment those letters up. Or if I make big changes, I'll change it to 1.3. Or if I revise the whole thing someday, it might be 2.0. It doesn't really matter as long as it, it'll still be labeled red. So I want you to now double click the performance file and it will load Ableton Live 8. This version is set for version 8.1.1 of live you'll need to have that version or later to run this set now that's always going to be changing as they release new versions um, I'll try to keep that current on the website if you've downloaded it in the last couple of months then you have this version or later you'll see the live set show up the set set is the word they use for this window here everything you need to use and do will be in this one window the first thing we need to do is set up the preferences. So go up to the live menu right up here, go to preferences, and you'll see this window pop up. Click on the audio portion if you haven't, and you'll see a number of things here. The most important is the audio input device and audio output device. This is where we tell live how to talk to the interface. So you'll need to select your interface, mine says Motu Ultralight, and yours should automatically show up in this list. Do the same thing for the audio output device. Choose your interface. Now click on Input Config and make sure 1 and 2 mono are selected. The rest of them are not necessary, but this allows the clarinet mic to come into the computer. Click OK. Same thing for the output config. We need to activate 1 and 2 mono 3 and 4 mono, and go ahead and do 1, 2 stereo and 3, 4 stereo. This allows all the sound, the click track, and the subwoofer channels to go out. You could ignore these down here. Click OK. So now we're ready for sound to come in and out of the computer. Uh, and the only other thing we need to do is go to File Folder right here. Make sure Use Audio Units is on. That tells the program to actually use that effect we installed earlier. So those are the two key preference things you need to do first before it'll make any sound, before it'll take any sound in, and before the plugin will work. So check those and double check those. 